Hi everyone, this is Naturally Aprosis. I'm back again with another video. So in this video, I would like to show you how I maintain my Bantu Note app. Many times I get asked to say, how do you maintain your curls or how long would the curls last? With natural hair, it depends on the level of activity that you do. When I'm working out, the curls can even go on the same day if I don't clean up all the hair. But um, when I'm not working out like now, I would try to make sure that the curls last up to Friday. Today is Monday. I did the burnt notes on Saturday and then I let it air dry on Saturday and Sunday. So today I unraveled. But you know, the thing is, my burnt note out used to be nicer when my hair was shorter because I didn't have a funny shape. But now that the hair has become slightly longer, I don't know whether to call it an awkward stage. I don't know whether I'm past that stage, but I think I'm at that awkward stage my bantu knot out does not really look nice the shape is kind of weird i actually spend a lot of time trying to shape it so like today and by the way i bantu knotted my hair using keolala i did it off camera because i believe i've already done a tutorial on how i do my bantu knots so because i failed to shape up i ended up putting pins like here and here so that it goes in the back again i didn't want to do a mohawk because i've been doing the fro hog for quite some time now but it's one of the options that i do when the when i see that the curls are dying out you can see this hair here because of pulling it like this it has stretched out so in the night when coming to sleep i just grab the hair like that loosely so that i don't kill all the curls and pin it up like a pineapple but i don't want to stretch my hair very much so i'm just going to do it in half i'll get the first half like that then i'll put a scrunchie and what are these the outless bands it doesn't have that thing that grabs on hair and makes the hair break a bit seamless so i like to use this i'll do the same on this other half in the back like so and then if you've noticed i have not spritz my hair or added some oil it's quite oily okay not really oily but i think it's got enough oil because when doing my bantu knot i was putting product so my hair still has enough product and moisture so there's no need for me to add more moisture so the next thing that i'm going to do is to put on a satin cap like that so instead of putting my satin cap in the hairline i put it in the forehead like that because i don't want to temper with my hairline so i'll be back tomorrow morning to show you how i'm going to style my hair or how my hair is going to behave with two pinnacles when your hair is longer you can just put one you pull it up and put one but my hair is not that long so i used to so the style for tomorrow will be dependent on how my hair will be if it looks frizzy in the sides or in the back it looks a little bit stretched out that will determine how i style the hair so that's it and good night thank you very much for watching and bye see you in the morning it's morning i am back so this is what the hair is as you can see it's getting matted here so let's see if the pineapple works so these are the two scrunchies that i used So now you can see that the hair is a little bit stretched out and it's stretched out more in here compared to here. So this normally is what determines how I put my hair together the following day after I have the burnt knots. So I just want to remoisturize the edges. I don't want to shrink my hair so I'm not going to spray everywhere. I'm just spraying the edges because I washed my face and I removed oil so I need to re-moisturize them. At this moment I would do a front hog but I think I'll just do a puff. So I'll do a quick puff and spritzing with water all the edges. I'll need to slick my edges. I'll be using Eco Styler Gel. 
and edge control by Auntie Jackie. I'll get a generous amount of gel, put it in the edges. Using a legging. Pull your puff up to the level you want your puff to be. And loosen it up so that you don't pull on the edges very much. So I put some edge control using a toothbrush. I think I'm done. Yeah, so I'm going to have this hairstyle for the rest of the week. If you've liked this video please give it a like share don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button so that you do not miss a video when i upload a new one so thank you very much for watching and bye see you in the next video